Welcome back to another daily workout. Thanks for joining us. The purpose of doing these videos is to motivate you and create a community of like-minded individuals with a shared goal of health and positivity. You can follow the exercises I'm doing. If you don't have any special equipment, that's what I'm trying to demonstrate today is you don't need anything special. You don't need a gym membership. You don't need anything. You can do some lunges, air squats, push-ups, or other body weight exercises. Go for a walk or a run. It's all fantastic. The main goal is to get your blood moving. You don't need any special equipment. You don't need any special location. All you need is a community and the right mindset and the desire to start. Today we're focusing on an outdoor workout, which is comprised of 100 push-ups, 100 crunches, and several uphill sprints. Hope you follow along, get you motivated, get your blood pumping, maybe even get out there and wash your car or clean your house. Just do something that you've been putting off or something that you find that's difficult. In order to get ahead of your current self, you must become just a little bit better today than you were yesterday. It doesn't have to be much, but after you work on this for the next couple of days, then the next couple of months and years, the gains will be huge. No matter how you look at it, you're not going to be the same person next week as you are today. Who do you want to be? Where is it that you want to go? What do you want to be? The only person that can answer this is you. What are you looking for? Success? What is your definition of success? Are you looking for fitness? What are you willing to do to get that fitness? Are you willing to start with a 10 minute walk after dinner? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to change your nutrition? Do you want to quit smoking? Do you want to quit drinking? What are you willing to do? What is it that you want? Where do you want to be? What? is your why. Most people today are currently living life with some sort of pain. Life is hard. To better your life, you need to choose to live with pain that will benefit you in the future. Starting right now on yourself sounds difficult, but is it really any more difficult than the pain you feel right now? You don't have to live with the same pain. Investing in yourself is the best way to show the universe gratitude for the life you have. <laughs> Accepting yourself for who you are is a lie. It's a perpetuated lie by people who aren't willing to put in the work it takes to find out what they're actually made of. Those are the same people that are looking for an easy way out of a tough conversation. Who are we? What are we capable of? 
the highest achievers only use 40 to 50 percent at the most of their abilities how much do you use accepting yourself for who you are is the same thing as saying why don't you just settle for mediocrity when you're capable of far more than your limiting beliefs allow you to think You need to have a hard look in the mirror. You need to be honest with yourself. Be honest. When you're having a deep internal dialogue, you can't afford to lie to yourself. Dig deep, find the courage, and look at your shortcomings. Then face your fears. X-ray your skeletons in the closet. And with laser focus, work on them. Don't worry about them all at once. That might overwhelm you. Start in a place you can guarantee you will win. Face one, face them one at a time. You'll be better tomorrow. Face half of a skeleton tomorrow. Face the other half of the skeleton the next day. Make sure that you win. You have to create your life with intention. Being grateful the day is over after a long day of work is no way to live. It all starts with you. You have to decide, I'm not going to be depressed anymore. I'm not going to be an introvert anymore. I'm not going to be fat anymore. I'm not going to feel worthless anymore. I'm not going to be broke anymore. I'm going to start running. I'm going to meditate for 10 minutes a day. I'm not going to eat garbage anymore. I'm going to market myself for a better career or I'm going to get my business off the ground. I'm going to become mentally tough. I'm going to flex those mental muscles and find out what I'm truly made of. I'm going to prove to myself what I'm truly capable of. Jordan Peterson once said, the trick for thriving in the face of tragedy is strength, not protection. We all have made poor choices. Those choices turn into lessons. What we decide to do with those lessons, that's what's important.
Focused work and me time does not need to be eight hours. Focused work only needs to be a no bullshit, intense focus project. Before you go to bed at night, try to think to yourself, what am I going to do to better myself and my business tomorrow? Set a time and duration and do it. Once you have that established, just do it. That is you time. That is your future. This is what must happen to break the cycle of being replaceable. When all you think about is how sad your situation is, all you're going to get is more sad situations. Your attention is your intention. Blind trust and confirmation bias are two of the fastest ways to fail in life. Blind trust leads to poor decision making and vulnerability. Similarly, confirmation bias, where we only seek information that supports our existing beliefs, can hinder our growth and understanding of the world. It's important to cultivate critical thinking and open-mindedness for success and personal development. Many people struggle to accept the realities that challenge their preconceived notions or beliefs. Overcoming this tendency requires a willingness to confront uncomfortable truths and an openness to adjust one's perspective based on evidence and reasoned analysis. It's a challenge, but an important one. Today I'm gonna to guide you through my daily meditation. It's a five minute guided meditation using the box breathing technique, also known as four square breathing. Begin by finding a comfortable place to sit. Place your hands gently on your lap and close your eyes. Allow your body to relax and take a moment to settle in. We'll begin by bringing your attention to your breath. No need to change anything just yet. Simply observe your natural rhythm. Feel the rise and fall of your chest, the air entering and leaving your body. Now let's start the box breathing. We'll breathe in for a count of four. Hold for four. Exhale for four. And then pause another count of four. Let's begin. Inhale slowly through your nose, counting silently in your mind. One, two, three, four. Hold the breath, keeping it gentle and relaxed. One, two, three, Four. Exhale slowly through your mouth, releasing all the air. One, two, three, four. Pause, allowing your body to rest in stillness. One, two, three, four. Let's repeat the cycle. Inhale deeply through your nose. One, two, three, four. Hold, feeling the air within. One, two, three, four. 
Exhale, releasing any tension you might be holding. One, two, three, four. Pause, noticing the difference between breaths. One, two, three, four. Continue this rhythm. Inhale, bringing in a calm and focus. One, two, three, four. Hold, feeling grounded and centered. One, two, three, four. Exhale, letting go of stress or worry. One, two, three, four. Pause, embracing the stillness. One, two, three, four. Keep going at your own pace. Maintain a steady rhythm. If your mind wanders, gently guide it back to the breath. Feel each part of this cycle as it flows smoothly into the next. Inhale, inviting peace. One, two, three, four. Hold, feeling balanced. One, two, three, four. Exhale, releasing what no longer serves you. One, two, three, four. Pause, resting in the calm. One, two, three, four. Take a few more cycles on your own, enjoying the simplicity of this breath. Each inhale brings in energy. Each exhale lets go of what you do not need. As you finish your last round, return to your natural breath. Simply observe the sensation in your body, how you feel now compared to when you started. Take a moment to appreciate this time you've taken for yourself to center and calm your mind. When you're ready, gently open your eyes, bringing the sense of peace and focus with you as you continue throughout your day. Remember, you can return to this practice anytime you need to find calm or regain your focus. I hope you found this meditation helpful, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.